Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and here I like to talk about luxury beauty and this is part two of a little mini series on my favorite lipsticks for fall. So we've divided them into different categories. Part one is already up, I'll leave that linked down below in the description box. That features terracottas, oranges, and reds. So we're looking more at that kind of color family. And we've got some options in there for cooler tone people and warmer tone people as well. So in a variety of different finishes. And that's kind of the goal of this mini series is to find perfect shades for everybody, regardless of what your preferences are. So today we are looking at berries and browns, which for me, for the most part, are gonna be on the deeper side. And for people with deeper skin coloring, these are gonna be gorgeous just some of them can even be nudes. So we are going to be looking at a variety of different finishes and formulas. These are all ones that I personally absolutely love as favorites. We're also gonna look at the lip liners that I like to use with these shades as well. First, we are starting off with one of the Byredo lipsticks. Now the Byredo lipsticks, first of all, look at these cases. So you can see I've got mine here, so it's making like a little bit of a faint S curve, but depending on how you turn it, you can also have it like this, more of a concave, convex short sort of shape here. But these are strongly magnetized here and you've got the gold and the silver. This shade here is part of the Shimmery Nudes collection that came out not that long ago. Was that, it was last year. This one here is Via Rose. And there's one swipe. We'll do a few swipes right there. And look at this. This is a gorgeous rose berry shade with a metallic finish. So I absolutely love this. Actually, I love all four of the shades in that Shimmery Nudes collection. This is definitely one of my favorites. I think it is stunning. And if you're looking for a kind of a, a rose berry with like gold metallic finish, this is the best that I have ever found. Formula is really great. Let's look at this on the lips here and it goes on very smoothly it's opaque you could see even in the arm swatch just one swipe is going to give you impactful shade and when you build that up you really see a lot more of that metallic finish so this is creamy yet not so overly creamy on the lips that it's going to shift and slide while you're wearing it and it's very very comfortable you don't feel any grittiness or anything from the metallic finish and it wears really well. So you're gonna get like four or five hours or so of wear with this. And of course it can blot down to a stain as well. Moving on to another one of my favorites. This is the Givenchy Le Rouge Sheer Velvet. So I love the Givenchy Velvets. This Sheer Velvet is definitely a go-to and it is going to be a lighter berry shade. So you can get one sheer layer with this and these will give you kind of that soft blurred lip look. This one here is number 18, Nude Fume. And you can see that it's berry, but there is a little bit of brown in there, making it a little bit more nude. And it's really just a beautiful, beautiful shade. So let's look at this one on the lips. You can see putting it on, you automatically, you know, as soon as you put it on, you see that blurred lip look. It really does kind of blur lines in your lips as well as kind of just the boundaries of your lips to give you kind of that that look kind of like just kiss blurred lip and I just think it is absolutely beautiful this is definitely one of my go-to shades for every day as well but I think it's perfect for fall so this berry here is going to have just the faintest touch of a little bit of a brick red tone in there making this work really well for people with cool tones that are close to the neutral in the spectrum, as well as people with warmer tones. Whereas the Byredo shade we just looked at is more appropriate for cool neutral. And maybe, you know, some people with like some warm tones can pull that off, but it is going to definitely run cooler. So this is gonna be an option that's a little bit more suitable for a broader range. Moving on, we're taking a look at what I have on my lips now, and this is one of the Givenchy La Rouge Deep Velvets. I love this formula as well. These are my favorite velvet formulas. This one here is 14 Rose Boise, and you can see this is going to be a really beautiful, more of a pink or berry, but you can see that you've got a little bit of rose in there, you've got some pink, and you have that plum purple. 
and you can see the deep velvets are very creamy but they're pretty opaque with one swipe you can build them up they're gonna remain very plush on the lips i find these to be the most comfortable velvet lipsticks and i i personally absolutely love this formula so looking at this one you can see this is going to be cooler in tone than the sheer velvet we looked at and it's going to be just not quite as purple as that Byredo that we looked at in the beginning it has a little bit more pink in there but again absolutely beautiful shade i love this color and every time i wear this one i always get compliments and people stop me to ask me what color this is i mean people i know but you know it's just it's such a beautiful shade next we're taking a look at another sheer velvet or sheer matte this is the suku sheer matte in 114 so this is limited edition and i did want to share this one though because it's absolutely stunning so when you purchase this you're going to get this with this little white cap this is a temporary cap but it's perfectly functional if you want to leave it like that if you however would like to purchase a cap separately this is what it looks like so this is the cap you can purchase separately and yeah i just i think this is a stunning shade so again this is 114 and this one here actually reminds me a lot of the rose boise from the Givenchy deep velvet but this is kind of more similar to the sheer matte or the sheer velvet finish from Givenchy but look at these colors so you can see that this is going to be pretty similar a little bit softer and slightly more purple a little bit less pink than the Givenchy deep velvet it's a stunning shade I absolutely love this so looking at this formula on the lips you can see it is going to be very similar to the Givenchy sheer velvet in formulation and both of them can give you that very soft sheer blurred look with one coat you can build it up to a bit more opacity between the two of these I feel like the suku builds up to a little bit of a creamier finish than the Givenchy. The Givenchy, however, I feel like does leave a little bit more of that blurred lip look as you build it up, whereas the Suku ends up becoming more of a closer to a true velvet. Overall, both formulas are fantastic, and I have to say this shade 114 is probably my favorite shade in the Suku Sheer Mats. So if you are interested in a shade like that, definitely check it out while it's still available. Next up, we're looking at a Dries Van Noten shade. And Dries Van Noten formulas, you know, in general, this is probably my favorite lipstick brand overall. This is actually an amalgamation of two of the different lipstick cases, but you purchase the case separately and you purchase the refills. One of the issues, and I've said this before about many other brands, I don't like how you can't see the name until you pull the refill out. So this is one of the matte shades in shade number 80. These are magnetized cases. They are, or not magnetized, I'm sorry. They are, uh, you know, a push closure case. So you're gonna snap that in. And they're, they're really beautiful. I absolutely love these. Let's take a look at this shade here. This is gonna be more opaque than what we've been looking at. I mean, look how deep that color is with one swipe. And this berry here has a bit more red in it. So this one will be more suitable for warmer skin tones in comparison to this Givenchy Deep Velvet and the Byredo. And you can see there's, it's more of that, like if you're looking at a red plum with some purple in there, how you see a little bit of that sheer redness in there, that's what you get with this. It's kind of like when you look at that plum skin and you see a little red and you see a little purple when the light hits it. And that's what this color reminds me of. And they, they got it exactly right, in my opinion. That's exactly what it looks like. So looking at this one on the lips, you can see it's a very opaque matte, does have a velvety texture. This is gonna be comfortable on the lips. And it's a dry texture, you know, as many mattes are. So it's not really a, there's a little bit of a creamy texture going on, but it will dry down to, you know, more of your traditional matte. However, it's not really drying on the lips. I do find that all mattes and velvets, if you wear them day after day after day, they can be a bit drying, but this would definitely not be one that I would be concerned about using on repeated days. So uh, it doesn't dry out my lips and I find it to be, comfortable, very long wearing. Like you, this color will last, you know, all day. 
And it definitely, if you want to blot this down to a stain, you get this really beautiful, even colored stain. You can easily top this off with some sheer, you know, lip gloss or lip balm or something as well to revive the color. And I think it's just really great. This is definitely one of the, one of my favorite matte formulas as well. Next, we have one of the Givenchy Rouge G. And this is from Holiday. This is 777. And you can see that this one, this one's really gonna be best for cooler undertones. You can see you've got more of that vibrant blue pink in there. And it's got a little bit of berry in here, a little bit of plum. But you know, this is gonna be more of like your fresh raspberry or a crushed blackberry. So I'd say it's kind of an in-between raspberry and blackberry there but it's just a really, really beautiful shade. And this is gonna be a nice velvet formula. It's very thin and weightless on the lips. Compared to the Dries Van Noten, you can see it's gonna be a little bit lighter. It's also a little bit thinner and a slightly less creamy than the Dries Van Noten, but they are, you know, vaguely similar in texture on the lips. Next, we have another Guerlain Rouge G. This is part of the permanent line. This is number 910. I believe it's called Black Red. And this is gonna be more of a deep brick red with a touch of brown and a touch of plum. So this is really more gonna be a red berry. This is gonna be great for warmer tones, but it also works for cooler tones and neutral. And I think it is just a really beautiful, almost a blood red that's been kind of dried up with a touch of purple in there. Just a very faint touch. So it's going to, remain slightly, you know, it's it's kind of neutral because you got warm and cool tones in there, but I'd say it's gonna definitely be one of the warmest ones that we're looking at today. Next up, we have one of the Chantecaille Lip Cheeks. This is actually from the Fall Collection. This is the Orchid shade, and this is gonna be more of your lip balm, lipstick hybrid with a high gloss shine to it. So I think this is a really beautiful, you know, bright berry. This definitely has more purple in there. This is gonna run cool in tone, and I just think it's stunning. On the lips, this is very comfortable. I've always loved the Lip Chic formula from Chantecai. I don't always love the vanilla fragrance they have in these, but you know, certain shades, totally worth it. So this is one of those shades for me. It is fairly unique in my collection. You know, these are definitely the closest matches I have to it. And out of the ones I have here, the closest is actually the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvet. And that one was number 14, Rose Boise. So that's gonna be my closest match to this Chantecaille shade but you can see that this one definitely has more purple in there. And again, this is gonna give you that glossy, shiny finish. So really, really beautiful. Next, we have another similar formula. This is one of the Sisley Fido Rouge Shine Lipsticks that came out this year. This one here is 12 Sheer Cocoa. And this, you can see, very similar in formula to the Chantecaille. You have a very similar high shine finish to this as well. And this is going to be a brown shade, but this is gonna be a warmer brown. So there's actually a little touch of like orange in here as well. And I think it's a really beautiful, kind of a rusty brown shade. So again, just like the Chantecaille Lip Cheeks on the lips, these are gonna be very comfortable, very emollient texture, high shine finish. And this also has a vanilla fragrance, just like the Chantecaille. And I find it to just be, you know, really comfortable and easy to wear. And it's very easy to apply, you know, even without a mirror. And you can see, you can get a sheer layer of this and kind of dab this on more like a tinted lip balm, or you can build this up for more pigmentation. And just a few more here, we have the Armani. This is one of the Lip Power lipsticks. This one is shade 203. And this is one of the new ones for fall. And look at that brown. So, I mean, that is a stunning brown. And I think this is really a pretty neutral brown. You can see a little bit of mauve in there, but you can also see a little bit of rust. 
and it's just a really beautiful kind of like a mud brown <laughs> and I absolutely love this. I think it is a gorgeous shade. It's definitely one of my most worn from this new collection. And on the lips is very comfortable. You do have a shiny finish to this. This is definitely a creamy satin with a moderate shine finish to this. And I find it to be very comfortable average wear time and you know this has no fragrance so uh, you know it's definitely a, a great product i love the teardrop shape applicator uh, armani lip powers are some of the most underrated lipsticks in my opinion they are amazing and next we have another brown from merit this is lavenue and we're gonna let's go ahead we're gonna have to start putting these on my hand here i guess so we've got lavenue now this can be sheer, as you can see with this first layer, or you can build this up. And this does have a moderate shine finish. This is technically a clean beauty formula. You can see though when you go over this, you do have to, uh, I would recommend applying this one with a mirror because you can get a little patchiness at times. But you can see it's gonna be a little bit less shiny than the Chantecai, uh, but slightly shinier than the Armani. So you've got a moderate slash high shine finish to this. So on the lips, I find these to be very comfortable. They are thin and lightweight. They have an emollient texture. And you know, for me, they are fairly hydrating. Now, one thing to note, you know, they do have castor oil in them. So uh, while I don't have an issue with castor oil, some people do, and that may end up creating more dryness on your lips. So just something to note, but if you're looking for a clean beauty lipstick option, I think this Merit Shade in Lavenue is gorgeous. You can see it's brown with a touch of red, and it's actually more of a berry red in there. So not straight up red. You've got a little bit more of that cooler, like purple red in there. And I just think it is a stunning shade. Really, really great. And last up, we have Chanel. This is one of the new Rouge Allure lipsticks. This is number 214 Instinct. You can see this one has a little bit of gold shimmer in here. And I really like this shade. So it makes me think of one of the Chanel shades that came out at the beginning of the year and the Rouge Allure Velvet, which I really love the color, but it's patchy. This is a warmer version of it. So this does have a little bit of shimmer, but you can see this is really gonna be a purpley brown. So it has a little bit of a cooler look to it than a lot of these other browns we featured here. It's brown with kind of a blue based purple in there. So I think it's a really, really beautiful shade. On the lips, I find this to be very comfortable, lightweight. As for the level of shine, we're looking at more of a moderate shine finish, average wear time. And you know, this is just a classic lipstick formula in general. I do really love the Rouge Allure formula from Chanel. And this particular shade, I just think is, a great option. I really like this one a lot. And I think for me, it's a deeper shade, but you know, on deeper skin tones, this shade would just be stunning as more, uh, you know, something a little bit lighter <laughs> for, the, for people with deeper skin tones. But that touch of gold in there, that shimmer, just adds a little sparkle and life to it. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. So these are all of my swatches of my berry and brown lipsticks I'd recommend for fall. I absolutely love these. I love all of these formulas and finishes here, but you can see we do have a range of shades. So we've got a range of lip liners. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with the more pink shades. This is the Chanel 182 Rose Framboise. Now this is gonna be pinker than anything listed here but I'm gonna put this one right up here. But I think, you know, having a bright pink like this can kind of cool things off as well. And it just makes a nice accent to something like this Givenchy La Rouge Deep Velvet. Yeah. Okay. And it goes really well with this one here, which is the Guerlain Rouge G in 777. I also like it even with something more purple here, like the Chantecaille Orchid shade. So I think that's a really great option. We also have the Elisa Eldridge in blush. And this is actually what I'm wearing right now with it. And I'm wearing this Givenchy La Rouge Deep Velvet. You can see that this is gonna be a warmer shade. 
And that's a great option if you wanna warm something up a little bit. Sometimes just even having that warmer shade just on the outer edges will you know, help make things you know, a little bit warmer without actually changing the tone of the lipstick because it's really about what is right up against your skin tone. So I think this is a nice option as well. We have an Esam dual pencil here. This is the plum pencil. So let's take a look at both sides here. And you can see this deeper side here. I mean, look at that. It's a little bit more purple, but it goes so well with this Dries Van Noten in 80. And if you wanna cool off the Guerlain 910, that's a really great option. And adding this, with something like this Chanel 214. You know, this is deeper, but that's gonna give you that really beautiful ombre lip. And this is the lighter side of it. You can see this is really gonna be more of a nude pink shade, but that goes really well with this nude boise from Givenchy in the La Rouge Sheer Velvet. And again, it can warm up some of these other shades as well. So I think that also goes nicely with these two here, which is the Merit and the Chanel. Another one here, I guess we'll just finish our, our liners here, but this is Night Fever from Pat McGrath. You can see this one's gonna be a bit more red. It's pretty vibrant, but this goes really well with these shades down here in my opinion. And I also really like it with the Chantecaille Orchid shade if you wanna warm that up a little bit. Sometimes having that, that red tone with that purple can be really striking. And a couple browns here. I'm gonna put these ones over here on my hand. This is Ground Control from Pat McGrath. You can see that's gonna be a nice, rich brown. It goes nicely if you wanna add a little accent to those. But notice this is gonna be neutral, leaning, cool. And then we also have Deep Void. This is actually more of a deep eggplant purple, which again, I find to be very striking with some of these berries and browns here to add some contrast, add a little color and depth. Now, of course, you can always go with a regular nude liner with some of these lighter shades as well. Uh, but, you know, those, these are kind of my go-tos. So we have one more video coming up in the series, and that's going to be nudes and like those rosy nude kind of shades. So I cannot wait. Those are kind of my go-to everyday shades as well, but we've got, you know, some that I specifically love for fall in there. And that's going to be the last one in the series. So definitely check that out. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, so you know when that one pops up. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already caught part one, definitely take a look. I'll have that link down below in the description box. And all of the items mentioned here today are in the description box as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed this. And please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.